the Green Party is so attached to its global warming and it's terrible and must have been doing something about its greenhouse gases and its pollution that they don't want to hear that that's not happening because their reason for being is being challenged the very uh, reason that uh, that they sell themselves and they get their backing and support it's they have to protect that Mars and the other planets are also warming up are they driving a lot of uh, trucks on Mars? Well, I don't see. There are two rovers now on Mars. Well, okay, there is climate change. What we're seeing today in terms of global warming and climate change and all the rest of it that goes with that, I do not believe is being caused by mankind and the emissions from our cars and factories and so on. It's the sun. The sun itself is being driven by cosmic forces as well. But we live within a, a, a universe of change, and it's foolish of us to think otherwise. A lot of the cycles, and people are talking about the sun entering a new place of the galaxy, a new part of the galaxy that we haven't been around in for hundreds of millions of years. There are lots of unknowns on an astrophysics level. None of these scientists know exactly what drives the cycles of the sun. Nobody knows the theory that the Maya knew. No scientist today knows the theory about the sunspot cycle. It took me many years to find and to decode this theory. If there is one solar flare, two and a half times bigger than the one from 1989 that destroyed the electric grid system in Canada, then the whole worldwide grid system will be completely shut down. In studies of, of geomagnetic reversals in the laboratory, they found that it would occur when uh, the geomagnetic field weakens and re re reduces, and you would also get areas of, reduce, of uh, inverted field breaking out in sort of odd areas. And both of those things have now come to pass. I can tell you, the former Earth scientist, is that we are seeing measurable parameters that, uh, that are changing and appear to be converging. Uh, for example, the magnetic fields of the Earth are in rapid decline right now. They reached the peak about 2,000 years ago. They have declined consistently, never looked back since then. We are now at the lowest magnetic point in uh, global magnetics that we've been the last 2,000 years. Now, the, <clears throat> those who sit in higher positions of power and influence, they know all this. I have absolutely no doubt that they know about this. Whether it's disaster, you know, or Nirvana, depends on, you know, where you are. If it could be Nirvana if you're, you know, some poor guy, you know, trying to scratch a living in the dust bowls of Africa. Or it could be disaster if you happen to be one of the ruling classes who control everyone. Unless we have a radical change of consciousness. That's the future that very large numbers of people seem to be okay with. And that, that's what I find scary, is a future with no soul.